Candy's still sleeping. I'm an early riser though. So I made my coffee. Go for a little walk. And we'll uh, have some breakfast and call the day. Well, a day for being here, that is. That's a really nice campground. I'm trying to keep it down still early, six o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna go for a walk down by the lake. There's still a lot of vacant campsites here. Which I guess is what you'd expect for it being the middle of May. Or actually the end of May. They don't even have some of the docks out yet. They have a ginormous swim beach here. It's like practically the whole length of the campground. And the campground's like 123 sites plus. I, don't, I think that might even just be full RV hookups. That's uh, not counting the uh, primitive camping. Don't quote me on that, but it sounds about right. Reference these docks I talked about in a previous video. I thought uh, they should be for the public's use. Well, they are. Not all, but put this down here. All of these here. All these docks here are for anybody's use, the public's use. Those docks over there, that, that face, that point right there, all of those, those are uh, reserved for people at the campgrounds. So, so they split it, and that, that's the right thing to do. That, that's nice. We'll go out here and have a walk. A walk on the docks. You know, I am a registered camper, so I can walk out on the uh, camper side of the docks. $28 a night. And uh, this is Army Corps of Engineers. It's a federal campground. And this is a boat launch area. They have two boat launch areas here. And they're very nice boat launch areas. They're very level, very wide. There's a fish cleaning station. There's no fishing off the docks, at least ways off the uh, camping side of the docks. Nobody wants a bunch of hooks in their boat. And yeah, that would happen. Believe me, that would happen. There's some geese there. Oh, they got a family. Little baby geese there with them. Five chicks. There's a few boats here. The one beautiful thing about camping is like you could have a tent <laughs> or a pop up, you know, Starcraft camper with your 1975 Dodge truck. Or whatever you're pulling it with and you can park right next to a half a million dollar rig and be neighbors it's true campgrounds bringing Americans of all classes together and you know what they'd get along they'd, they'd probably have cookouts together Unlike yesterday, today, and well, this morning, it's a lot warmer. It's like uh, spring overnight again, like, you know, winter to spring overnight. 
we have that little heater I showed you in the last video that little electric heater that we'll probably use for when we have full RV hookups well we will use from now on when we have full RV hookups that thing works phenomenally it, you know temperature controlled you just set the temperature you want it on and boy that thing will blast out some heat like nothing I've ever ever experienced before so I'm glad I have that we kept it on all night long and never got cold not not even not even a little bit so I'm walking toward the dam now here's one of the uh, public restrooms they are very nice very clean here's a fishing pier here I've never heard how good the fishing is there I know over by the dam if you wear your uh, your waders and kind of wade out toward under the, the bridge over there I've done that and the fishing has been pretty doggone good but you know every time I've done it it's always been in the middle of summer not you know when the temperatures are are really really warm or hot I've never done it when the temperatures are this cold or the uh, river is flowing this fast and it's flowing really fast they are letting out a lot of water In the summertime, you usually see a lot of kids out here fishing. Right over here, as you enter the city of Cross Lake, here's the bridge and the dam and the campground over here. Right here is where you can put a canoe in, and I've done that put my canoe actually a kayak is what I did actually I, me and a friend put a canoe in here once also and you can launch it here and then just go down river under the bridge there and park another vehicle your truck or whatever at the other pickup point and just see the most breathtaking scenery you'll ever see in your life just this time of year if you was to do it now you wouldn't have to, to stop or portage to, to go anywhere. You would just, just paddle all the way to your destination. Now, the last time I did it, it took me six hours. And, I, you know, I, I can, because of where I live and the proximity of where I live here, I could put a, a canoe in here and just go all the way practically to my house, you know. And the one time I did it, Candy picked me up at my destination it it took a while <laughs> it took like uh, six hours or so but I had to portage a lot because it was late in the season and the water the river levels were really low so I had to get out and drag the the kayak I was using at the time I had to get out and drag it you know sometimes a quarter of a mile and then re before I could refloat it but I gotta tell you, it was a great experience. I, at the time I finished it, I thought, you know, I'll never do that again. I got that out of my system. But the longer that time goes by, the more I want to do it again because it was just, just so nice. It just the scenery is just. It it seems untouched by mankind. It just seemed untouched. It was just so serene. There was no houses along the the river. It was just marshland and the woods and wildlife. Yeah, I saw a lot of eagles, a lot of deer, a lot of various waterfowl. You know, you can look into the water so clear, you can see every species of fish that there is. You can just see them. 
swimming in there as you're as you're canoeing by or kayaking by. So yeah, the more that time passes, the more now you know I might want to I might do that again. You know, it'd be nice to go with somebody. I went by myself the last time. And Candy, she's not into that kind of thing, so yeah. I might do it by myself again. I, I you know, even though I was alone, I, I still enjoyed it. There's Babe the Blue Ox. Right here is uh, County Road 66 in Cross Lake, Minnesota. And here's the park entrance right here. And that leads into the campground right there. And right here, you have a free dump station for those uh, passing through. So there you go. There's my uh, community service for the day, at, for the year. Checkout time here is 12 o'clock noon. Check-in is 1 o'clock in the afternoon, although, like in the last video, you, you saw they let us in early because there was no one at the space. So that was nice. And it was a, a nice stay vacation, let's just say. I have uh, a feeling we'll come back here. It was actually very relaxing, very enjoyable for some reason. Camping is relaxing. You know, for old people like me. Campgrounds over here. Here's kind of an up close view of the strip mall they have over here. It looks like they have a, some kind of a high school up here or junior high something. I don't know what it is. This is the uh, home of the uh, Whitefish Chain of Lakes. I'll kind of like attach a little map to it. It's just hu huge. It's just a really ginormous reservoir. I guess, we, you know, we have reservoirs up here in the north too, as well as a lot of uh, natural lakes. Whereas I guess in the south, it's just nat nothing but reservoirs. But that's fine too. Then coming back into the campground, here's the uh, camping dump, dump station here. Here's your fees. There is no shortage of shower facilities, fresh drinking water, or restroom facilities at this campground. They are everywhere. This would be a wonderful place for uh, like family gatherings or family reunions. Here especially because you're really close to all of the, everything the lakes has to offer. You know, you need shopping, fishing, hiking. Every camper here has a different name on it. Like Super Light and uh, Cruise Light and Northern Light. That's just the first three names I spout off that I see as I'm walking by. They, they all look the same. <laughs> they just got different names on them, different colors. They, they're probably all made by the same people. That would be a pretty good guess. Here you can uh, come get your own firewood free of charge. Have campfires. Just bring your own chainsaw, like I have a battery-operated chainsaw that I bring. Nice truck camper. Got some nice LED lights on that Montana. That's for those people that uh, 
don't want to take the risk of leaving their boat at the slip overnight, you can always bring it back to your campsite. You can really tell the people that are dug in here for a while. I don't know what the, how long you're allowed to stay here. Probably, like most, probably two weeks. Um, you can tell because they got, you know, like three cars at their campsite. You know, boats, jet skis. They got a little uh, kitchen tent set up. I think it's just neat as heck. And then you have your very nice uh, Class A. Looks like a triple slider. Here's your uh, shower house. Have these little footpaths going between sections of the campground. That guy's got an Arctic fox just like I do, only his is a lot more modern, newer looking. And he's sporting that on a, uh, that looks like a Dodge Ram, a Cummings diesel. He's pulling a big tandem trailer with his. Another big shower house. Here's one of them uh, old fashioned y retro type campers. And then we have a camper van right behind it. I love the, co the steel copper colored roof. And your classic. Class B, Class C, Class A, all parked next to each other with your travel trailer. Here's a Lance, known for their truck campers, also making travel trailers too, I guess. Horseshoe pit, two of them, playground. Docks still aren't out yet over here. And this is all, like I mentioned, there's a swim beach. It just goes on forever. You can obviously swim at your own risk. And they haven't even put the swim buoys out yet. So I guess, you know, toward the end of May, it's still considered too cold in North Minnesota. But I don't know, I guess, More two people aren't who aren't from here because I, I would go swimming, you know, it doesn't seem too cold to me. Heck, I got my pool up and running. But, you know, you can launch a, uh, a boat or a kayak or, you know, something, a carry on here. Your inner, your favorite uh, inner tube. Or paddleboard. Well, I'd like to have one of those in my yard. That's nice and well manicured. You can see there's been some tree climbers up there taking care of it. Here's the more docks they haven't put out yet. These are uh, obviously public, you know, docks here. You can visit your friends at the campground after they put them out. Probably go right here. You can climb up the steps here after you park your boat. Little playground set. There's a leaner boy. That's going to go any day now. Of course, it's it's struggling to stay ashore. Look at those roots. It's been holding on.
I, I would climb all the way to the top of that from here in my younger days. Look at this, just, just holding on. Here's one didn't make it. I think this is a dead end here. Yep. That's all well. We're still young enough, right? If it wasn't meant to be walked on, then why would they put this bridge here, right? I did all this one-handed. We're still going. Maybe it's just a matter of time till I fall on my ass. Still got my coffee. Here's the docks, making my way back to camp. So beautiful, so nice. Oh, it's starting to get a little mucky here. Ducks. Ooh, the trail is all covered underwater. I might have to turn around and go back when I'm so close.
and that would suck. Maybe I can squeeze through there instead of taking a chance. There's some tent campers there. See them? Shoot, right there. There's no turning back now. There we go, we found a trail. Let's get out of here. Well, we still have our socks dry. Ooh, that goes through someone's camp. I don't want to walk through their camp. Yeah, that's a little tacky. I'll go around. Trail leads right to their camp. Last thing I want is some guy looking like me at uh, 6.30 in the morning walking through my camp. Yeah, we're on solid footing anyway, it seems. A little squishy, but... Good enough. All right, you guys, that's all for this trip. I'm going to go uh, raise the jacks, close the slide, head home, and uh, probably do some gardening. Yeah, probably some homestead stuff will be on the... Uh, the next series of videos. We'll play it by ear. See you later.